everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout in this product placement series that I do with Rachel Reynolds. This month we are doing acrylic. So you saw there that I was showing you that acrylic flower. And that flower is an old Heidi Swap piece, probably from 2007, 2006, 2007, probably in that 2007 range. Uh, so it's old, probably at least 10 years old, and it was time for me to get rid of them, I guess would be the best way to, to, to say it. I had four of those flowers left, and I definitely wanted to do something with them. So I'm taking this photo, and I decided to use a yellow and black theme. That's a photo of my mom and her best friend, or one of her closest friends, and she's wearing a black top with yellow flowers on it. So I put that polka dot border paper on it, and that is from the Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby's line. And then on top of that, I put a yellow gingham paper. That came from a die cuts with a view 12 by 12 paper pad called Garment District from Michaels. And that's older. Then on top of that, I'm going to mount the photo here on this black and white stripe diagonal stripe paper that's from Bella Boulevard Just Add Color and it's the passcode paper and then I used another little polka dot yellow polka dot paper from Chamel little by little called pint size fun and I'm thinking right now that I'm going to put that on a doily from um, the sunny side of bakery from Hobby Lobby we'll see how that works so right now I'm placing those acrylics around and I'm going to cut some of them because I only have four, but I want to kind of, I guess, make my own background paper would be the best way to describe what I'm trying to do here with that. And as I was doing that, I decided I really didn't like that doily behind it. I thought it fought the acrylics a little bit too much, and I knew I wanted to use some sort of journaling card. So again, I'm playing around. So what Rachel and I do in this series is we take one product and we try to use as much of it as we can. Um, and like I said, this month that was Rachel's pick and she picked acrylics and I just went back to an old supply. There are a ton of acrylics coming out in um, new uh, die cut packs. So, so since those acrylic flowers are vintage, <laughs> we'll call it vintage nicely, we're going old school here and I'm going to actually use some paper flowers. Yes, folks, it is 2007 today. Those um, yellow uh, acrylic flowers or paper flowers are from Prima and they're old. I'm pretty sure, I know this came from a, I got jars in a holder from jars of these flowers in a holder and I'm pretty sure that it came from QVC back when they used to do scrapbooking um, programs. So these are old. <laughs> um, and as I said, the um, flowers themselves are from Heidi Swap and then that journaling card there is from L Studio. So I'm doing a nice job of staying with my whole yellow and black theme here. And it just makes me laugh that I'm using you know, like this seriously is a 2007 layout, but it is, but it's not because I mean, there's definitely things in my style today that I was not doing. If it was 2007, you would have seen cardstock used here. I wouldn't have used the journaling cards, um, less layering on the um, photo mat there. You wouldn't have seen that there either. So those are kind of the big things that... Um, I would not have done. So then I'm going to cut the flowers as well. And what I'm doing here is I'm making some of the flowers, both in the acrylic and the Prima flowers, go off the edge there so that it's not, um, so that they're not just centered on the, um, totally on the paper themselves. I did truly, my idea behind this was to make it look like the acrylic flowers were sort of making a background paper without doing a background paper. And I think in the end, I, I actually succeeded in this pretty well. I kind of wish I had had one more acrylic flower. I would have put it up probably somehow to the right of that um, journaling card 
but it didn't work out that way, so I did the best I could with what I had. And now again, I'm going to trim this flower here since it was, um, it was off on two sides. All right, that looks good. Now, we all know, what did we put in, in those flower centers back in the day? You either put a button or a brad. <laughs> so, again, 2007 today. And then there was one thing. I was going to leave that flower, um, just the acrylic as it was, and then I decided I really wanted a flower with that one as well, too. It just looked funny not to have one. So I'm going to get that done. And there's my brads. So I have um, velvet brads and corduroy blur, uh, brads here. And I am going to add three quarter or yeah three quarter rag brads there's one in the top right flower there one in the left flower right there and then one in the bottom right flower all right and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you one of the processes of me putting this brad in this was not easy because I was going through that acrylic and it's pretty heavy I did manage to make it work and then by the pro um, magic of photo editing, those are all done. <laughs> and now I want to do my title, and I am not very imaginative with titles, so I'm going to title this Good Friends. <laughs> so, and I am using um, the L Studio letters and numbers in black there. I do still love those brads as I'm really looking at it. You know, they're a nice little touch and... I don't know, anytime I have a flower like that, it calls for a center, so that makes sense. So guys, uh, make sure that you check out the description box in uh, my video here because I will link up Rachel's video as well too, so that you can go see how she used acrylics this month. And we always do this series, it's always on the first of the month, just so that you know that. If you want are interested in other products that we've um, used as well, you can go to my playlist and I have a product placement playlist there and you can see how we use other things like stickers and chipboard. So it's kind of fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this series um, with Rachel. All right, just about done adding my title here. And adding my little dot to my eye there. All right, here's a still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and we'll be back with another video next month on the first. Bye. Oh, and happy Easter. I almost forgot that. Bye, everybody.